I'm uh, very uh, overjoyed that uh, the center is uh, flourishing and uh, still we have a, a large uh, monastic community here. Uh, as the monastic community uh, is very difficult to establish in the uh, West, uh, to have this uh, large number of monastic communities is amazing and uh, I truly rejoice in this uh, work of uh, uh, Mark and as well as also the uh, the monastic community uh, and the lay community uh, all to be able to um, come together and uh, so far able to keep the monastic community uh, continuously uh, flourishing. I think this is a uh, very uh, incredible, um, unique uh, quality to the, uh, this particular uh, center as well as also the Dutimus uh, activity uh, of the Dharma. Uh, I have to say that uh, uh, Dharma in the West has uh, always uh, been a uh, big uh, interest of uh, many teachers <coughs> and also to establish uh, good uh, Sangha in the West um, has been an interest of many teachers um, from um, these holding the Spenor Mache onwards uh, uh, I feel very um, honored to be um, here the Dhamma Sangha uh, that is also of the uh, same lineage and uh, uh, Nima lineage. Uh, uh, I know that in this place, in this very uh, room, Niti uh, Yavji has uh, been given and uh, so many also other empowerments have been given in this place. Uh, but it's very honor to actually uh, be back here and to have the sort of uh, a deja vu, so to speak, <laughs> uh, of the place. Um, and uh, with all of the blessings, I think, that is here. It is uh, my hope that uh, 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 the things to, uh, as it has flourished uh, continuously, to flourish uh, in this way, uh, and uh, much also good to come from the uh, activities of. Uh, Jitunma uh, and as well as also all of your efforts and um, all of your hard work. Uh, um, so I'm very, uh, in short, uh, delighted with all of this uh, uh, reasons um, to be back here and to really uh, uh, revisit the place. Uh, 
I remember when I was here 20 some years ago, I was a young man, or not that young, but uh, quite young, uh, somewhere in thirties, uh, now closely approaching to fifties, uh, with lots of gray hairs. Uh, uh, then I think so much uh, was happening in my own personal life with uh, being kind of an uh, immigrant uh, and just uh, uprooted uh, uh, so much of uh, uh, that time and uh, things that happened around that time. Uh, was kind of a faint and uh, not very clear. Um, so, uh, looking forward to uh, uh, with a little age under the belt to <laughs> see everything and uh, uh, meet you all. And thank you very much for having us here. No. When you do a dubchen, uh -huh. you have a torma right. on the altar. And uh, very uh, strangely, sometimes this kind of uh, nectar comes out. In the kapala or in the... No, no, it just comes, comes out of the torma, the torma. Itself, oh. itself. So then they consider that to be very auspicious. They say it's very auspicious. And I know from some stupa, uh, uh -huh. some statues, some nectars come out. So it could be from that uh, a same principle. Right. Some nectars come out because I don't see, you know, anything that in that section most probably what what is there is a lot of grains. Yes, I agree. N nothing that could produce that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a, it's a problem. I think it's auspicious.